let's see some entire parents from this month some christmas festivities and what's better on christmas than some entire people starbucks mommy that sounds eerily similar to some kind of rule 34 but let's get into the story this morning i decided to go to starbucks to get my favorite drink this starbucks doesn't have a drive thru i parked next to an suv and noticed a lady sitting in the driver seat but thought nothing of it as i got out she rolled down her window and this exchange happened Excuse me, are we going in the Starbucks? Yes, why? Oh, good. I made a mobile order for me and the kids. I saw and heard screaming kids in the SUV. But I can't leave them in the car alone. So can you bring your... No. Can you get my order and bring it out with you? It's under Sherry, thanks. Oh. <laughs> she... This seems very pointless. Oh, yeah. No. Sorry, but I won't be doing that. And I started to walk away. And the entitled parent yelling out the window. Hey, I said I needed you to get our order. I can't leave the kids in the car. How is that my problem? Walks away ignoring her yelling still. I get back and she's still sitting there in her car lot. She starts berating me about how I don't know how hard it is to be a single mother. Why do they all seem to be single mothers? So I called her off and said, "You decided to split all those things out. You you can deal. Split all those things out." I mean, come on, it's like you don't need to say that. Anyway, you can deal with them. Neither I nor anyone else owes you anything. I, I'll be honest, I think this is fake. It's, it, nobody is that fucking eloquent. Like, uh, this isn't a Shakespearean skit. You're not just suddenly going to say, you spread those things out, you can deal with them. Neither I nor anyone else owes you anything. That's not what happened. Then I got in my car and left with her continuing to yell out her window. I wonder how long she sat there. trying the same thing on others going into the Starbucks maybe if she does nicely i'd be willing to get her order and help her out etc etc this i mean it's a it's an okay story it's not really that interesting though my stepdad is stressed and that's my fault my mom has covid and is pregnant so she is at home in a room and sleeps nearly the whole day that means i and my sister have to stay home from school and my stepdad does home off and work from home i'm assuming My school doesn't do homeschooling, so I just have to get my materials from other kids of my class. This story happened yesterday. When I got up, I immediately went in the stable with my dog. I took the horses out on their meadow and made their boxes. Don't know what they're called in English. Then I fed the... Made their box? Uh, uh, never mind. Then I fed the cows and cleaned the walkway of the stable. After that, I went back in. It took me about two hours to get all this done because apparently my stepdad and sisters already ate. I asked him why he didn't call me because last time I did and I ate with him. But he told me he thought I didn't want anything. All right, so I made myself something and went into my room to eat. Not long after, when I tried to do schoolwork, he called me and he called me that I had to babysit my sister for a few minutes while he does something outside. He said five minutes, so I went and played with him. It was three hours until he came back. Later, I went grocery shopping with my youngest sister, who's four, and I had to babysit my older sister, who's eight. My mom told me to brush her hair because my stepdad didn't do it for the last two days. So I did, and I tried to be gentle, but it was hard, and she cried. It, what kind of hair brushes are these? Anyway, in the end, my mom said to give her a pacifier, and I did. And when my stepdad came home, he immediately started ranting up why she had a pacifier, even though he gives her one really often. So I told him, and he started yelling at me until I ran into my room. What? What the fuck is this family? Anyway, what? What are these? I don't think the problems here are one person being stressed. This feels like a very hereditary issue that everyone is seemingly annoyed at each other. Not hereditary. That's definitely not the word. That evening he cooked, and I went, and I wanted something to eat, so I tried to cut myself some of the baguette he made, like these with. herbs in them and such don't know the name some kind of fucking bread and he told me i had to wait so i got up and wanted to leave the room while doing so i let my hands let my arms sink to my waist apparently too fast because he started screaming at me i didn't understand a word because he was so loud i tried to flee and he threw a bar what the f- he threw a basket at me what is what is happening here anyway That was when my dog started barking and growling at him, and I had to take her by the collar. At that point, I yelled back that I didn't even say anything. My mom came downstairs, and on the last two steps, she fell. 
but it was nothing bad. She's not even in the third month and also she just fell onto her butt so nothing really happened. When I fall like that or worse, my dog is the only one to come look if I'm okay. They don't care about that but my stepdad immediately rushed to us and he yelled at me more. I was crying at that point and the dog still growled and barked and tried to get to him until I finally went into my room with my dog who let me cry into her fur for a few minutes. When I was better, she licked my face. My mom came into my room shortly after telling me I wasn't allowed to talk to him anymore and he wasn't allowed to talk to me. Th- this is definitely not just stress. That had a lot more issues here. When I asked about something to eat, she went mad and I could make my own food and in my age her parents didn't treat her like this. Which I don't believe. My grandpa is actually really close to me and I know him quite well. That's when I ran outside with my dog and tried to cool off. It worked but my stepdad then wrote per WhatsApp that he had some other baguette in the oven for anyone who wants. And I know this was probably meant good but I got so mad at that point. After I got home again and I didn't talk to anyone till now. Yep, th- as this comment says, this definitely sounds more abusive than entitled. Anyway, next story after that. Not exactly, not exactly uplifting story. Entitled mother tries to walk off with my mom's Christmas gifts, injured me and then claimed I stole her items. This is gonna be a long one apparently. I honestly can't believe that this just happened but here we go. I was online shopping this morning and when I saw these gorgeous outdoor Christmas lights at really great prices at a local store. My mother loves Christmas but she's never had the money or time to put any lights up. But she longed to have some. I decided that as an early Christmas present that I would get her some so that, that she could be proud of. I purchased some great deals online, like some light-up reindeer, a favorite, some colorful string lights with the colors red, green, white, blue and purple, a snowflake shaped light and some light-up candy canes for her candy cane lane. I ordered them, paid with my credit cards and was able to actually pick them up in store same day, all for less than $100, a total steal. What is this, a fucking ad? <laughs> when I get there, I see there's a long line at customer service, so I decided to browse for a bit. I ended up getting a super great deal on a pair of dripping icicle lights, the buy one get one free deal. I then added a strand of light up garland so that she could decorate inside with more than just the tree. I know it's a lot but I made good money from doing remote lab work at my university and since I had more than enough say for tuition, decided to spoil my family after such a rotten year. What I got for my siblings, dad and grandparents are not related to this event. So I go pay and sure enough the line as customer service is a lot shorter. I get in line, wait maybe 20 minutes, and when I'm at the counter, I presented my email, proving proof of purchase, but it takes a bit for her to scan the QR code as the device is apparently not reading. I got no problem with that because, hey, things happen. But suddenly my own cart slammed into my side. See, what I did was put myself between my cart and the exit. I've read one too many horror stories of people just running off with others' purchases that I wanted to play it safe, and it kind of worked. Except for the fact that I'm now in a lot of pain because my own cart was rammed in right into my hip bone and knee, knocking me over to the floor and nearly making me whack my head. And the crazy lady who did that then tried to push my own cart over me, all while screaming, I kid you not, you stupid little thief. This lady was literally trying to tell that I stole her cart. Oh, this is fucking madness. Sadly, she was black and I was Caucasian in a time of all this racism craziness. You start on that whole, you're racist shit, I'm not. I couldn't care less if that lady was an alien, had purple skin or was a queen of England or something. I treated others by how they treat me and she was stealing my gifts, called my mother and claiming I was the thief. Angry, I then twisted out of the security guy's hole, ripped the receipt out of my pocket and shoved it in his face. I have the receipt to you, insert a really nasty insult. If this is England, so I, I guess I could guess what it is. He startled, steps back and stares at the receipt and I snap at him that he needs to get a pair of glasses because skin colour or not, I have the recipe. That bitch does it. Now call me a damn ambulance because I can't take the bus home from how in pain my body was from being rammed by my own cart. An older security guard, manager and the head honcho supervisor come over and the older guard starts berating the younger guy for jumping to conclusions. Again, apparently. The manager checks my receipt and sure enough it's all mine and the crazy lady has no receipt. Of course then the lady starts waiting about how I must have stolen her receipt, only to have it pointed out that I had used my points card for that store which was on the receipt and they could match to my ID. They also had CCTV of me with all my items, buying them and then her coming along and grabbing them and ramming me with my own cart. I then have to sit there on the bench with all my items, the customer service girl who struggled to get the QR code to scan returned my phone to me. 
I dropped it on the counter when I was hit and started playing with my items. I bought online into the cart, which had now been returned to me, while crazy lady was detained. Police and EMTs arrived not long after. The store wasn't actually that far from a hospital or police station. And after the EMTs loaded me onto the stretcher, my ankle was badly twisted from being knocked over, and I wanted to go to the hospital just to be safe. I gave my statement press charges before turning to the so- supervisor as he comes over. He is very apologetic and asks if I want anything for the store for free as compensation. I told him all I wanted was for a, the area security guard to either be rigorously retrained in thinking for once or be fired, that I wanted them to hold on to my purchase until I could come back to pick them up and that the crazy lady who is now screaming, you'll hear from my son, he is a lawyer, which is how I know she's an entitled mother, be permabanned from the entire chair because who knows if she's gotten away with it before or would do it again. The super agreed that it was more than fair. This security guy who detained me improperly looked horrified and apparently crazy lady here heard of that and went deadly pale before she fainted right there and there. What the f- anyway. This, she fainted after hearing that. I'm now sitting in a hospital bed. My ankle in a cast, the bones cracked, my left hip and knee in pain, right elbow bruised and having to call my grandparents to pick me up because my family only has two cars and my sister and dad are both at work, hence why I took the bus. I'm so pissed it's not even funny and typing this out on my phone, I don't care about spelling errors, what happened to me isn't right, skin color etc. And I'm in Canada so I can't make a pay my medical bill as it's covered by the provincial plan. I'm going to answer questions for a while as my grandma's almost here and I know she's going to be pissed, not at me but about what happened. Yeah, that's a good story to be fair. And yeah people be crazy. That's all you can really say. I'll probably end that video.